His name's Henry. Um, mowers and blowers. Mowers and blowers. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. Chilly day today in Long Island. It was 70 the other day. Today it's like 40. Very chilly. See? Anyway, I got a new package from my friends over at Heimvision. It's another Wi-Fi security camera. Smart Wi-Fi camera with dual lenses. Here are the features. It's got dual lenses, meaning double views, smart motion detection, optical and digital zoom. It's got floodlights and a siren warning, handy two-way audio, advanced night vision. It's waterproof rating of IP66, local and cloud storage supported, videos recording and replaying. Let's uh, open up the box and see what's in it. It's got a sleeve. Packaged nicely. It's got a thank you card, customer service, user manual. Forget about it, we don't need instructions, right? Okay, cool. It's got these two antennas that stick up. Uh, it's wired. You can disconnect this so when you install it, you can do four screws, zoom, 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 to where you want to mount it. Dual lenses with spotlights. Um, I have another one in the back that does that too, which is very cool. It's at night, you know, any motion, you could detect uh, any motion and then the lights will come on, like a spotlight, you know? And uh, I've never had one that had two, two lenses, which is very cool. We'll see how that works. So obviously you've got a connection here hardwired into some module then you got a power obviously and I think this is an accessory wire I've done enough of these security cameras that you kind of figure out what it is so this is a uh, power supply cord that you plug into this one right here I'm sure and here you have another cord here oh my god it's an ethernet cable that's not going to work for me because I'm not going to run an ethernet cable to my router. I mean, first of all, that's not even close. I'm going to need like 200 feet, you know? Some adapters and uh, anchors with three Phillips screws. That's it. On the very bottom here, there's a rubber grommet here that you open. So you have the reset button as well as a slot for a micro US, uh, a micro SD card, which is not included, which means I can't continue because guess what? I don't have an extra SD card to put in here. And if you're gonna permanently mount this somewhere high up on your uh, property, you're gonna need an SD card. So I'm gonna have to go out and buy one. So I'm gonna have to put this one on hold until I do. So, I got a micro SD card. This is a 16 gigabyte one. I took it out of my other something else, another thing, so I didn't have to go out and go buy one. But eventually I will need to. So I wish these things came with one, but it doesn't. It doesn't tell you exactly which way it goes, so you have to just trial and error, put it this way, see if it goes in, and it doesn't stay. So I'm going to flip it around, stick it in. and it doesn't go in. So the other way was the way, but it doesn't stay. All right, now it does. Put the protector back on. Okay, that's on there. Let's, uh, let's plug in the power and see what happens. I've already downloaded the Heimvision app, is what you need to do. And uh, have your Wi-Fi password handy. Um, I think I'm able to use Wi-Fi, or you can use your Ethernet uh, connect connectability with your um, router, which I'm not going to use because, you know, not everybody has their router 
um, really close to where you mount, want to mount this. Not to mention a 100 foot ethernet cable, you know what I mean? And then you have to route it all through your walls and stuff. So when I plugged it in, we've got this uh, light going on. I'm going to open up my app to Heimvision. So after you uh, download the Heimlink app off of iOS or Android, you get the uh, page where you would now go ahead and create an account, password, email, all that. And then you uh, open it up after you've confirmed all that and you get this welcome page. You press add device. And this is, you get a choice of intelligent camera or PIR battery camera. This is not a battery camera, it's an intelligent one. Let's go, I need to scan the code here. Um, I believe this might be a reset button. Press this again to reset it because a lot reset of success. there we go it is a reset button so it's convenient to have a reset button on the outside of the device where you're mounting it you know so then it gives you the option of um, scan code Let's see if you can see it scan code addition of AP hotspot addition by connecting to your network cable so we're gonna wait for it to prompt you to scan the, the ad. So I'm going to scan it until the device indicator flashes or beeps or heard. Please configure camera by AP hotspot or scanning code. There we go. So now after you prom you're prompted by the voice, you click next. Then it says allow um, location. So I'll allow while using the app. I have to put in my Wi-Fi code now. Okay, I entered my Wi-Fi password, and now it has a QR code. Please wait for Wi-Fi connecting. So I, I believe it scanned it already, and it's just uh, loading right now and configuring the um, password. Please wait for internet connecting. So since I'm in my garage and my router's all the way on the other side of the house, I've got... Internet connected. Welcome to use cloud camera. How about that? So it says addition success. So it's connected. I'm, I'm surprised because like I just said, my Wi-Fi is not very good in this area, you know? So I'm going to write a input device and this is going to go in my backyard. So I'm going to write right gate. Then it asks you, Heimlich would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. You write OK. I believe you just tap that. Allow mic access, OK. OK. That's what I see right there. I see that there we go it's working awesome yeah, that's pretty easy test 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 I can hear it in my phone so it records um, the mic doesn't seem to work like when I press the button for mic and hold it and I talk no voice comes out of here, but I don't think I, I, I don't think I pressed the, um, you know, I didn't think I set it to allow the mic to work, so that's probably it. But you know, it, it pretty easy to install. I was surprised. So now all I have to do is just, you know, um, connect this to my wall outside in the backyard. Put four screws through here, right, and route these wires through the hole in the wall, which I already have because I have another camera that I don't want to use anymore, and I just simply connect power to, it and that's it. So basically, what I was worried about was that this Ethernet connection here, you don't use that unless you want to, you know, unless you have your router right next to where you're mounting it, and you have a cable that you can go right into your uh, Ethernet and not worry about uh, Wi-Fi connection, you know, whether or not it's a spotty connection or not. But I'm pretty surprised that it actually works with my 
bad Wi-Fi in the area. Like I said, this other one was just a reset button on the outer so that you didn't have to remove this to, to reset it or climb underneath to pull this out to reset it, you know? And uh, it's good to go. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna crawl into my backyard, move my shed, get a ladder, and affix these four screws into the side of the house and then uh, that should be good. So the other stuff over here is for waterproofing. If you have your wires outdoors that, you know, if you have it routed so that these connection wires are outdoors, you have an O-ring there which you can put there. You have this little grommet there we can open on the side, put it around the wire, slip it in, you know what I mean? Nice and tight. Then you got a cap over here. So it keeps it more watertight than if it, it wasn't, you know? So that's pretty cool to have, but I'm not gonna need it because both these wires are gonna be inside my uh, garage. And uh, the only thing protruding outward is this length of cable here that goes to the camera. So it's the next day. It's a nice day out. Instead of the rain, I'm gonna install my new camera right below those two other cameras. Those two other cameras are recorded on a hard drive for my system. So I can't monitor it, monitor it with my phone. But I wanted to see what's happening in the backyard for my dog in this gate. So I'm gonna put it right where that second camera is. That second camera wasn't waterproof, so it's not. So uh, I'm gonna climb up there and remove the old one, then put the new camera up and connect the wiring. So it took me a while, but I uh, took the old one off, put the new one on because my shed was so close to the wall, ladder was like pretty much vertical and I had to kind of balance to get up there. It's no choice, you know. Finally, I did get it up there. I had to repair it again when the wires to connect to the uh, power source, right? I had to rescan it again, but it was hard to scan because you had to put the QR code on the camera and it's so bright out here, it, it couldn't recognize the screen on my phone. So I had to take this. I had to take the uh, sleeve, put it over the ca uh, camera, put the phone in here so we could see the QR code for it to mate, pair with my Wi-Fi again, and then now it works great. And uh, it's fantastic because you could pinch and zoom in, right, and pan left and right with it. It also has a spotlight so that if anybody walks here at night, the uh, night vision will detect it. I'll get a notification on my phone. I can track it, every uh, everything, and it gets recorded too. So very, very cool, and uh, it looks nice and uh, clean, and you know, looks good with the other two cameras I got. So I mean, I'm loaded with cameras now, man. So once you uh, hit the Heimlink uh, app, you tap the uh, phone, and there you have it. There's a view of my right gate, where my uh, mini shed is. And you could press this to talk, right? And it broadcasts my voice in the backyard to whomever's out there. You can let go. You could take a snapshot of it after you set it up. This is sound on, sound off. Here's video record while you're watching it live. This is to make it bigger for full screen. You could pinch to view closer. Move left and right to see it. And it could be in HD or not. It's the zoom, the sound, the camera, those buttons are there. So it's very cool. Works very well. 
So that's it. That's my review of the Heim Vision smart Wi-Fi camera with dual lens, night spotlight, night vision, two-way audio, uh, motion detection, the works, and uh, has 10 times zoom as well. So uh, got re I replaced it with my existing camera that didn't have all those functions, it didn't have the spotlight, and I think having a spotlight at night for motion detection, if somebody comes to your yard, uh, the light flashes on, and uh, I think that's great. Even if I'm out there looking for something, the light's on to help you see, you know? This sells for $54.99 on Amazon.com with free shipping. Go check it out. There's a link in the description. Thanks a lot to Heim Vision for sending me yet another camera. My house is like Fort Knox. <laughs> um, the installation, because it's wired, it's a little tedious and difficult. You gotta climb onto a ladder, drill holes, run wires everywhere, you know? but it also works with a uh, Wi-Fi connection and also an ethernet connection too. I had existing wiring for the uh, for another camera, so it was just plug and play for me, but it was a little tough to climb onto the side of the house, you know, with no clearance, balancing and everything to get that mounted right. But I wanted another camera there because the mounting before was just messy, you know, so I wanted to get rid of it. So now it looks nice and clean, white color to match my uh, plastic siding of my house and so uh, now I'm covered in all angles of my uh, residence. Thanks a lot for joining me on this review video from Heim Vision. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Oh. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, Comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.